I welcome you in the course of leadership, emotional intelligence and decision making. This is module number 31 and we are going to talk about mindlessness and the drive to survive. When we talk about mindlessness, obviously we are focusing more on the unconscious processes of the mind and those unconscious processes of the mind would sometimes be triggering our amygdala and there would be a phenomena taking place which is known as amygdala hijack. In this amygdala hijack, we are unable to come up with our thinking patterns. We are unable to assess the environment by its true means and our prefrontal cortex which is just behind our forehead would not be that much activated because amygdala would be taking up the whole situation. Many a times amygdala would be triggered when there would be a threat or when there is a certain level of stress which is not generally or regularly bearable by the person. So, these are the things which are associated with the automatic behaviors and this would result into lack of creativity, this would result into lack of cooperativeness because your unconscious mind would be more activated and amygdala would not be letting you to come up with your decision making based upon rationality and obviously there would be lack of adaptive responses and due to those lack of adaptive responses one is not able to come up with optimum solutions. This amygdala hijack which is occurring because of the environmental and situational stress is basically going to cause certain problems and those problems would be prevalent in the overall cultural environment of the organization. There would be demotivated behavior, there would be no meaningful contribution coming up from the people and there would be lack of learned behavior and obviously when there would be lack of learned behavior, so there would be learned helplessness. Aap apne aap ko ek majboor ke taur par wo zahir karo gaye. The reason being ke organization stress ne aap ko burnout situation mein dal diya. Aapka amygdala is not letting your prefrontal cortex to decide on creative issues aur aap apni salahiyaton ko mehdood kar dete ho. Therefore, there would be certain intense survival reactions by the people and those intense survival reactions would be subjected to stereotype thinking. Aapka ek pattern of thought develop ho jayega aur aap us pattern of thought se bahar nahi nikal paoge. Number two, there would be narrow attention and different perspectives would not be taken up into account jinko ke sochna aapke liye zaruri hai. There would be less engagement with the work and the person would be more engaged with complex cognitive processes jo complex cognitive processes uski soch ki hadood ko mehdood kar denge and there would be reactive antisocial and destructive emotions or those antisocial and destructive emotions would be basically the hindrance points jahan par creativity innovation responsiveness ye cheeze kam ho jati hain and there would be undermining of the ability of the leader, there would be undermine, there would be doing for going for undermining the ability of sustainable reactions and obviously aap apni tawajjo ko utna focus or markuz wo nahi kar paoge. Therefore, aap ke jo intense survival reactions hain, they would be less beneficial for the organization and sometimes they can even backfire. Those intense survival reactions can also include anger and fear that can also include that you are unable to understand the leadership perspective and therefore, aap undermine well intentioned perspective of leader ko kar loge. You would not be able to focus what the leader is exactly coming up with. Number three, compromised effectiveness hogi. You would not be able to do the right things. Number four, aap team effort ke bhi focus wo nahi kar paayenge because environment ka jo stress hai, jo cultural stress hai that is not letting you to decide on a creative basis. Obviously, jab stress ek hat se zada engage ho jayega aur aapka amygdala hijack situation create ho jayegi, aap apne emotional intelligence mein piche rehna shuru ho jaoge, to that would weaken commitment to the organization as well. In tamam intense survival reactions ki wajah se, the results are going to be underperformance, 
the results are going to be burnout situation and the results are going to be physical or mental harm. Agar hum is sari baat ko conclude karein, to humare unconscious mind processes baaz okaat hume compromise situation mein le jate hain. Us compromise situation mein hum stress ka saamna karte hain, humara amygdala hijack ho jata hai, jo ke humare thinking patterns ke saamne rukawat ban jata hai, aur natija tan hum apni kaar kartagi ko vaisse izhaar mein nahi la sakte, jaise ke lana chahiye. Thank you.